Hi guys, thanks for joining me. The Ivy Leaf set just launched and I wanted to pop up a little how-to on just making up the wire armatures for these. You can obviously use them without any armatures at all depending on your project but for those who want a little bit of structure so you can create that illusion of movement uh, within the felted leaves you're going to need to sort of wire them up a little bit. What I'm going to be using are some 26 gauge wires. These are really quite thin but they're going to be doubled over and it doesn't need much support but the 26 gauge doubled over will be more than ample. You're also going to need some pliers and you're going to need something to um, sort of create these even sort of spokes with and I'm going to be using a couple of pieces from the Mums Makery Armature Assistant. This is a really nice little set of jigs that help you create all manner of armatures, feet, claws, beaks and it helps you make them consistently. They're made from one mil stainless steel so they're really nice and durable. They come with a little hole and a key ring so you can keep them all together. So I'm going to clear this to one side and then I'm going to show you how to make one of these leaves. I'm going to be making the smallest leaf shape and this isn't going to be a how to um, with the felting. This is just going to be showing you how to create these uh, wire armatures. When you're using the template you would take half of the wool, lay it down um, and sort of felt it into the shape. Then you put in your wire armature and then the top half of your wool um, to sort of sandwich it all together and create the, the entire leaf. The smallest leaf shape uses a 20 mil armature and that's what this dimension is here it's 20 mil the medium will use a 35 mil and the large there's the medium and the large uses a 45 and so we've got a 20 a 35 and a 45 to create them, it's, it's very, very simple. You're going to take your wire and fold it in half. And grab your armature assistant or whatever you're using and just squish the wire around it. Then take one wire and create a second loop over on one side then grab the other side and create another loop like that so you've got your center and then you've wound an extra one over each side i'm just going to do that again so fold your wire in half i'm taking the front one here and then going back up and over on that side and then take the other one go back up and over on the other side and then these two in the middle here you can just twist together a little bit. So we've got three like so. Then all you need to do is grab your pliers. You may need two sets of pliers if you need to hold the other one as well and just twist up and squish the end and you do that on all three the tighter that you wind these the, they, they will get very slightly shorter they'll also become a little bit stiffer 
but I'm not going to wind these up too much. And there you have it, there's your little wire armature for your leaf. And as you can see, that just fits quite nicely in that template. The templates do come with the wiring holes as well. So what you would do is pop your, um, like I said, pop the first layer of half of your fluff in the bottom of the template, felt it all down, pop it through the wiring hole, couple of little dots of super glue leave it to dry for sort of 15 minutes and then take the second half of your fluff put that on top and then stab it all through obviously these are already finished so but you can see there are the armatures for those there's the medium And there's one for the large. Obviously, when you make the large, this is this wire is going to be quite short. These are using the um, green 26 gauge florist wires, which are also available in the in the shop. If you want to extend this wire, then grab another one, fold that in half. Or you may only need to use half. Uh, let's see, how would I do this? Pop, yeah, that's good. Pop that up through there so it kind of hooks over. You can see. There's the middle. It's got to focus. Just sort of hook. Hook that over. And there's the short end. Wind that down to the end, wind that one down to the end, and then you can just carry on winding. And that will help you extend your wire all the way down. Like so. So lots of options. These sort of templates are really versatile. If you want to put just sort of little uh, supporting structures into something that's a little wider, bigger petals, um, larger sort of fatter leaves, you know, just may need that extra kind of support nearer the outside to stop it from drooping and draping. There we go. That's how to create the little armatures for the new Ivy template set. Thank you very much for joining me and I wish you all a very crafty day.